Barney and Betty tear down the highway, convinced the aliens are in pursuit. Keep watching for it. Can't see anything. Betty put her body out as far as she could and looked up. She and Barney started to hear a series of buzzing sounds that seemed to be striking the trunk of the car. It caused the car to vibrate and for a tingling sensation to pass through their bodies. At some point on the road, the world for Betty and Barney began to drift, as if they'd fallen into a trance. Now, the aliens were in control. Suddenly, he saw these figures standing in the road. Betty and Barney were face to face with extraterrestrials. Betty and Barney described them as having large eyes. They appeared not to have the kind of noses that we have. The beings that they encounter are very similar to what today we call the greys. But back then, that term was not used. Now, we consider those guys your typical alien. But in the days of Betty Hill, all this was new. These beings, they did have the ability to seemingly paralyze Betty and Barney and uh, to render them actually unconscious. Barney felt as if he was floating. His arms were outstretched. Everything was floating except the toes of his shoes. The shoes, the ones he would later find scuffed. He then felt them bump up a smooth ramp. When Betty and Barney were taken into the craft, they were separated. The first alien examination on Earthlings was about to begin. 